The unfolding sequence that Christopher Alexander and I wrote for Gatemaker was really intended to build a beautiful gate. You could skip steps of the sequence if, for example, your gateway is open, that is not obstructed by a gate or a door, or if the opening is uncovered. But overall, the sequence tries to help you deal with the major quality issues that gates have. But it turns out that you can use this sequence in a pinch for any project of a certain size by using the gate as a metaphor or analogy for growing something else. It would be better to have a sequence that was specifically geared towards just that kind of project, but as we're about to see, you can create other good structures by treating them somewhat as if they were gates, translating appropriately. Um, I, I was thinking that somewhere in Sorrento, instead of a gate, we'll build something that's sort of mm, equally, equally complex um, as a gate, like not more complex, not a giant building or anything. What sort of has the complexity of a gate for you? A bus stop or a... Yeah, yeah. Go, hmm. Yeah, go down the street a little bit. Let's see if we can find a good place for a bus stop. Bus stop, oh, that does look nice. Like I'm also mm. thinking of like, yeah, what are some other small structures? Telephone booth? <laughs> Telephone booth, yes. <laughs> perfect, <laughs> perfect for the modern world. <laughs> so, um, uh, or an emergency so, call thing or something like that. So let's pick a space for, why don't you keep moving uh, yeah. around until you found a place that, yeah, we could turn this guy's driveway into a bus stop. I mean, you know, he shouldn't be driving anyway. <laughs> so say, yeah, say that this building. I, mean, um, I think that's actually- Start with- it's a good spot for a bus stop okay. and, and not in a, you know, real way. <laughs> I'd love it if, if the person who has that property found this. Like, so do, uh, need a bus stop here. Imagine a bus stop. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm just going to play a, a normal role, not a guiding role here, because you've done this before, Josh. And, and uh, so here, but here, just as a, sure. to, to set this up, you know, you have to think of all this stuff metaphorically. And like, it's, a, it's like a... Uh, okay. all, you know, you have to think to you, okay, what's the equivalent in a bus stop of, of what it is that's being asked, you know? Uh, okay, okay. So let's start with this one. Position. The position. That's about right. Let's go to next. Opening the gate. So I would interpret this as the sitting area. Mm -hmm. Uh, in context of uh, bus stops. Uh, Question for you: Is there going to be a roof? Uh, I think so. Yes. Okay, then you'd have to. Since it's the opening, it would be include the roof as well. Uh, okay. Just an outline of the an outline of the opening of, okay. the, of the roof. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. Mass of the gate. So again, this would be okay. okay. Next. So okay. So how does it connect the, to the outside world there? Let's go to next. Where the gate meets the wall, there are two massive gate boats. So it would be this area. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Are you happy with that area? And, and, and no, I think I, it, it, it would. I think okay. Yeah, that's, that's the mass. That's good. The post is massive. It's high to start with a feeling. Okay. So this is really the top there. The top. Uh, yeah, I think I, I, I'll need some sort of ceiling there. Yeah, so get the mass. Let's see. The sky above the gate has a particular shape. Uh, so it's this is the where this meets the sky. Uh, mm. uh, it's a particular shape. So yeah, make make that. Imagine that top and the sky behind it. Well, actually, you can see it. Okay. Uh, the line along the top of the wall too makes this a beautiful shape. So, 
Oh, no, I'm kind of happy with this okay. straight. You'll get yeah, you'll get to ornament oh. later, as you know. Yeah. So uh, each case is is ornamented with a small structure. So center. Okay. So it would be gate. Yeah, the upper part it is now containing occasional <laughs> openings. <laughs> okay. Missing to the other side. So, so you can put uh, holes in this wall. Go ahead and put holes in this wall if you want to. That's good. That's, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> the pieces of wall between the openings with a beautiful shape. So. So you do openings, but you have to make the openings. I'd pick a color and 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 shape shape your openings so that the space between is better. Okay, let's go between gate and wall. The angle between gate and wall is filled with definite central shape which connects the two. Let's go next. A gate okay, itself. It fills the opening fully, and so I think it would be the chairs itself. Yeah, or the um, space, uh, the space behind them as well. The leaves of the gate have a definite pattern, so I think I would interpret this again mm -hmm. as kind of the function of the seats. I think you've done that, mm. kind of, uh, if you will. I like. I just wanted to. Like, Ornament at the top of the gate is an ornament. Okay, so the base of the gate posts. Yeah. Next, wall ornament. The top of the wall. Okay, let's see. Well, that looks about right. Nice. It's done. Okay, save. Wow. That's amazing. That is super cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a metaphor, a so, metaphor for a gate. 